day six. Mary, mother and model of every Christian. Mary calls people back to God's perspective, to look upwards, not to be overwhelmed by the illusory pressures of life that empty us of meaning and distance us from opening ourselves to the mystery. Her journey as a believing woman ends in glory. In her, assumed in the fullness of her being, the full realization of the creature renewed by grace is manifested. Blessed because she has truly believed and because she has received in the totality of her person the redemption promised and accomplished by Christ for all human beings. La vera devozione a Maria, true devotion to Mary, consists of doing what we do with Mary, in Mary and for Mary. It is not simply an isolated act of devotion, but a daily commitment to make ourselves available like Mary and entrust ourselves to her to get to Jesus. As at Cana, where Mary became a mediatrix with Jesus to obtain the good wine, so we too are invited to pass through her to reach our Lord. With Mary means taking Mary as a model for our actions, consulting her before acting and allowing her to shape our intentions according to Jesus' will. Don Bosco recommended that young people say three Hail Marys every day, asking Mary to guide them in the salvation of their souls. In Mary implies inner recollection, as Mary did, keeping the Word of God in our hearts and making our prayer pass through her, the living tabernacle that carried the Lord Jesus in itself. Our prayer thus becomes more authentic and effective. Finally, for Mary means renouncing our own love in order to give glory to God and honor Him. Mary teaches us that this is possible and that we can live for Jesus by following His example of humility and dedication. If we, like the Apostle John, take her into our home, we will learn to live with her, to commit ourselves to her, who will tell us how to live for Jesus, how to pray to the Father, how to serve our brothers and sisters. May these reflections help us to live a more authentic and profound devotion to Mary. Mother and model of every Christian. The only Cristiano. My name is Ibrahim. I am 24 years old. I am Senegalese. I have been here for nine years and I am in a Dom Bosco house in Seville called Gabriel Lamas. My arrival at Dom Bosco was a bit difficult. I did not know Dom Bosco. I was in Tenerife in 2019, studying and thinking about going to university. But I was in a difficult situation. I was homeless and a social worker from the town hall told me about Don Bosco. And that's when I arrived at the Don Bosco home in December 2019. 
I believe, before the pandemic. And since then, they've helped me in every way. I had stopped my studies because I had problems with my papers. So I couldn't continue my studies. But they helped me with my papers until I arrived here in Seville. I'm living in a house on my own. In fact, in the home, they help us to be sufficiently independent and also to find work so that we can lead an independent life from an economic and administrative point of view for our studies and to carry out our own projects. The first thing I'd like to say about the foundation is that it's a family. For me, it's a family. I can even say that it's more than that. Because since I arrived, the people in charge have welcomed me and treated me like their own child, like a member of the family. This has really marked me for life. They helped me by allowing me to learn. And I can say that everything I do now, everything I know in my life is thanks to them. My first dream is to endeavor to integrate myself into society. I'm training to be a mediator and I'm training to be a sports instructor. I'm helping to make Don Bosco's dreams come true because, as I said, he had dreams too. I volunteered with the Mapara Foundation for educational support. We help young people with their homework and school activities. They also have time to relax and play. In addition, there's Cotard, a youth centre where we do sports activities and where I'm the sports coordinator. I'm also part of the voluntary service for refugees here at Herman in Seville. We help refugees to get out, live in society, get to know European life. That's really all we do. I'd like to be a social educator or social worker. And at the moment, I'm in the social integration section because I'd like to work in immigrant centers or in children's education. That's my choice. And I'm fighting racism and everything that promotes it. So I need to train in that area. And because I'm a Muslim, I have a friend who always calls me a Muslim Silesian. This doesn't mean that I don't know Mary Help of Christians. I know her because she's the Blessed Virgin of Don Bosco. It was she who helped him in his dreams to help the poor and to educate young people. To Don Bosco, I simply want to say thank you for everything he has done for me and everything he is doing for young people and people in vulnerable situations. And I encourage those in charge to carry on, not to give up, to continue to help people. Even if the people in charge don't get any benefit from what they do, sooner or later I'll tell their fathers about all the things they do for young people. Blessed Virgin Mary, living tabernacle, who made room in your womb for the Word, teach us to welcome the Word in the depths of our hearts and to put it into practice. True woman, model for believers, look kindly upon us. Make us, like you, generous vessels of God's love, offering his hope to those who are sad, bringing Jesus to those seeking meaning in life, being builders of communion with those who are lonely, 
Free us from indifference to humanity's suffering. Free us from false security and the comforts that dull the soul. Grant that, by looking at you, we may turn our attention from ourselves and reach out to brothers and sisters in need, especially the young. Amen. Thank you.